In this video I'm just going to show you how to insert audio into your websites using a bit of HTML. Basically you've got this little um, audio bar at the top here and when you press play you should be able to hear a song. It's coming through my headphones so it might not be the clearest sound. You get the idea, uh, but you can play it, you can pause it, you can track through the song there and you can also adjust the volume. All right, so cool little feature to have, especially if you're working with audio in your websites. So to get started, just need to go into your account and create yourself an audio folder, and inside of that you need a sound file. In this case, I've got one of Taylor Swift's songs, and it's an MP3 file. And when you're working with audio in websites, uh, HTML5 only recognizes three audio types. They are MP3s, OGG or OGG files, and WAV files. Okay, so make sure your audio tracks are either MP3, OGG, or WAV. Otherwise, they won't work. All right, so let's pop on into brackets now and get started by making ourselves a new document. We'll quickly save that new document into the folder we just created. So I'll just dig that out. There it is. And I'm just going to call this audio.html. Click save. Now to get started today, I will begin by writing in my doc type tag at the top, just to say we are creating a HTML document. And then we can start making the web page with our HTML tags first. We'll then put in our head section, and inside the head section, we've got a title. The title is going to be a simple one, it's just going to say audio today. You close your head section off and head down to the body section. Okay, so this is what's going to appear on our web page. Inside the body, we're going to start by putting in an audio tag and also in that audio tag we're just going to write the word controls and close that tag off. Okay. The last thing we need to do is just tell the computer where our audio file is located so on the next line down we're just going to open up some tags and write the word source and then write src after that. I'm going to write equals and simply click on the sound file that you've got saved in your account. You'll notice these percentage 20 signs appear in the file name and that's just the HTML version for a space. Okay, so don't be alarmed by those, leave them in the file name. Okay, and the last thing we need to do after we've told the computer where to find the audio file, you just need to tell it what type it is. Okay, so the type of file I've got is an audio file type and I'm going to do a forward slash and write MPEG. Okay, after that just close your pointy brackets. If you had an OG file, you'd put OG there. If you had a WAV file, I think you put WAV there as well. But as I'm working with an MP3 file, which is an MPEG file type, that's why I've written MPEG just there. Alrighty. So those three lines will put the audio track into your website. That's all we need to do. We've got our closing body and HTML tags at the bottom, so that looks finished to me. Press Control S to save it, and I'll hit the Live Preview button just to give that a bit of a preview and make sure that it's working. Okay, so here's my website and here's my little audio bar at the top. Press play. Okay, that works well. All the controls work nicely. Now one other thing you can do with this audio file, I wouldn't recommend it, but you don't have to show the controls. Okay, you can actually write in autoplay instead. So your music or your whatever your audio file is will play automatically. Okay, so if I save that and test it now, you can hear it's already playing. So you, know, you can have background music uh, inside your website and just have it automatically playing. I wouldn't recommend that though. I would recommend that you have the controls there so your user has control of the sound file. Okay, they might be in a quiet location or they might be at work or in class or something and accidentally load your web page up and it'll have blaring music, which is not ideal. Alright, so that's how we insert audio into a website. Fairly simple, so save that up and you're done.